Smoke, we got a special guest coming in here on the show. When you think about the history of the East St. Louis Flyers program led by Darren Sunken, I think about guys like Jeff Thomas. I think about Luther Burden, one of the top players in the nation this year. Miles McVeigh is from East St. Louis, down there at your alma mater, the University of Alabama. They are one of the premier programs in the nation, Smoke. They have done damage nationally. They've got great players going to the college level. We're going to have Charles Bass come in today and do his announcement, one of the latest great flyer football prospects. We got Arkansas. We got Illinois. We got Kansas State. And we have the Missouri Tigers as the four finalists smoke. Let's welcome in Charles Bass live from East St. Louis High School. Charles, how you doing, my brother? Doing good. What about you? Tell us who you got with you today. Um, you're standing next to you, sitting next to you. Tell us who all you got with you today. Uh, my stepmom, my dad, my uncle, my cousin, and my uh, granny. Awesome, man. You got some beautiful people with you. Now, here's my question to you. As I see those three hats there, walk us through your process of narrowing down to those three hats. Uh, someone I feel wanted uh, a good relationship with the coaches was important. Uh, somebody for my education, somebody to be developed on and off the field, and uh, somewhere I get a chance to play. Charles, the floor is all yours. Let us know where you're going to be playing college football at. First, I want to thank God. Uh, now this is possible. I want to thank my dad for pushing me. Uh, I want to thank my grandma, thank my whole family. I want to thank my teammates uh, for holding me accountable and pushing me every day of practice. Uh, I want to thank the coaches that recruited me. Uh, that goes a long way for me. Uh, the time that I was in contact, keeping contact with me, talking to me, uh, making sure that I'm right, you know, checking on me. Um, and steps up, fires deep ball, burden behind the defender. Dagger goes up and over. Sideline leaping grab by the bounds. Loki Cooper is like you can tell I dropped the bag. All these years already been rich, and I keep getting rich. I'm about to spaz. And that two don't driven a missile. If I get busy, I gotta smash out. You know me, I crash out, get cash out. Quanny in the projects right now, giving a pass out, got the glass out. Slam, we taking a sad rap, but we catch them clowns, they asked out. You know I won't lie. Any nigga play with me, gotta This die. year, I'll be committing to like the University of Missouri. I'm staying home. Loot to the zoo. Let's go. M-I-Z. Charles, congratulations to you, my brother. Everybody's excited in there. You went, Eli Drinkwitz has had a great last week in recruiting. What made you choose the Missouri Tigers over the other programs that were recruiting you? What made you choose the Missouri Tigers? You felt at home. You know, I went up there on my audition. Uh, I know a lot of my players down there. Uh, Luca, Tori, uh, Marta, you know. Contact with them guys, you know. Um, I got to watch Quiz, 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 Quiz with them, you know, develop some of the safety, so they were having fun and they're flying around. Charles, how much of a role did the way that Missouri, that the way that Missouri players are corners play into you choosing them as the next school that you're going to go to? Uh, it played play an important role, you know. Uh, with them having the success, the success they had last year with the two corners they got drafted. Um, they put in, they put in, they developed their corners and they put in on the big league, big league, and they, they throw their corners. Charles, I see your dad and your uncle both in there, great high school players and coaches in St. Louis themselves. You come from a long lineage, uh, a great football in your bloodline, your DNA, and your program. We want to thank you for coming on, man. 
get out of here. Enjoy this time with your family, with your teammates, with your coaches. Congratulations to you, my brother. See, Reed, man, what a gift. Missouri's getting a versatile corner with Lynn, position flexibility to play safety, and some nickel with the, with the ability to flat out play off and press. Now, see, Reed, let's cut on the tape and let's get to it real quick. All right, for the first one, you're going to see he's playing off coverage, seven yards off. Flips his hip, and this transition right here, Carl, doesn't touch him. Confident, goes up, locates the ball, and comes down with it. Now, that's what separates him. His ability to flip, go up, and get the ball. Now he's in his comfort zone press. Patient, hands on. Again, no panic because you don't see him put his hands on him. Transition, runs with him. Now here's where that 6-1 length comes in. Goes up, arms up, makes the quarterback have to throw and put arc on it, and causes the intercept. That's the difference in when you have a tall corner with size, length, and the ability to make quarterbacks make perfect pocket throws and fit balls in the small window. You're going to contribute to turnovers with tips and overthrows, but you see his ability to come down with the ball. Now, like I said, we read all corner that can play off. That's the most difficult thing for corners, but he makes it look easy. Press coverage, hands on, and gets it done. And position flexibility. You can play him at safety. You can play him at a nickel or star position and get it done. Now, I just told you what he is on film. How do you see him fitting with Missouri on defense? One thing about Coach Drinkwich at Mizzou, and he talks to me about this a lot when we talk about recruiting, you need some long corners that can run because of the bigger receivers in the SEC, especially guys that can affect you in the red zone. This is a guy with a tremendous amount of length. He has great hip turnover. Like you said, he can play press man and give good one-arm jams, or he can play off. He Even in the 4 5 that they run, can do a lot of stuff and playing nickel and slot corner, so the versatility is there. He reminds me a lot of when they had Ennis Rakestraw, who just got drafted to the Detroit Lions. He's well-schooled. He's well-coached. Both his dad and his uncle were Division I football players, great high school coaches in the St. Louis area. He's been schooled by Darren Sunkett, one of the legendary high school coaches who's a great DB guy himself, and his defensive coordinator and corners coach, Brandon Gregory, has developed – Tons of corners who have come out the St. Louis area and made impacts in college. He has an opportunity, Smoke, to be the next great player out of East St. Louis High School.